uh, it's an Islamic belief. I think you are nothing but uh, an atheist to try to deceive people again. Uh, so let us make it clear, Islam and atheism and evolution have, they, they don't fit at all, absolutely not, you know. Uh, now, there's other issue with the book. I was reading the whole page, which is funny, uh, and I found the following. Uh, you can read it yourself. I'm going to pause the link under the video, uh, so you can read and laugh. So he is saying that Muslims, he found that Muslims, they believe in that, and he is giving you the reference of this. And he start, uh, you know, with, the, with a funny start, he come to uh, Ibn Khaldun. Uh, now, Ibn Khaldun, uh, if you read what, what uh, those people are quoting from Ibn Khaldun, you will see that the translation is false and uh, based in fabrication. And they are mentioning to you many names like Ali ibn Isa, uh, Bak Muhammad Bakr Razi. Those all, they are not people who believe in evolution because they believe in the six day creation. They believe in the Quran. They believe in every word Muhammad he said. And everything in here is absolutely a lie. Uh, now, if, uh, uh, including Ibn Sina. Ibn Sina himself is, you know, is, is a saint. So it's a false. Uh, uh, false reference they have no reference whatsoever for what they are claiming and the reference actually they are mentioning it's false I, I will show you uh, uh, just a little proof about that we read in here together that they are saying that Ibn Khaldun the most famous Muslim uh, history uh, or whatever social scientist I don't know what make him very famous uh, you know if, if you know really what his book is about Ibn Khaldun is a very racist person, and uh, his books is full of fairy tale stories. And but anyway, uh, he's famous. He's famous, you know, because somebody tried to make him famous, especially the Muslims. Uh, he wrote about uh, evolution 400 years before Charles Darwin. Now let us see what he state, and then you will see the joke. Supposedly, this is uh, uh, Ibn Khaldun uh, uh, writing. The fact. Every word in here is absolute fabrication. One should uh, then look at the word creation. It is started from uh, the minerals and progressed in, uh, etc. You know, you can read it yourself, but you will see in here what they are trying to, to make it look like, uh, that uh, he is speaking about uh, uh, like uh, stages of a creation in evolution. The fact what Ibn Khaldun is saying and the translation absolutely wrong and I will show it to you in Arabic in the front of your eyes for those who speak Arabic here we go it's in the front of me that if we look at the uh, uh, how, how the Lord uh, how, how the how the word is created we will see that it started from uh, metal material then a plant then animal then goes up to the human and that based on what we showed you from uh, the Quran and Muhammad teaching, so he is not. He is not saying that there's an evolution in here. He is saying that uh, you know, if we go and read the Hadith, let us read. Let us, let us read it again, so you can understand what this guy is talking. Because this guy, he mentioned the name of Allah a thousand of time in his book. He is a believer. He is mentioning Allah's name. He he, he speak about his prophet as the most amazing prophet. So uh, uh, why those people are lying? Or what he is saying simply that the God of Islam, Allah. He created the world in stages, and that is based on his prophet teaching, not in evolution. As we showed you, Adam was created in the last day, on Friday afternoon. Let us read again. So, what, what is the first of the creation? It was the clay. The clay is the material. Here we go. If you read with me, you will see, here we go, he's saying, the first thing he created, it was a clay. This is the stage number one. Then mountain in Sunday. Then it, cre it created the trees in Monday. And then it created things uh, like evil in Tuesday. And created light in Wednesday. And uh, he created animals. This is the stage before the human in, in, in uh, Thursday. And he created Adam in a Friday. What does this have to do with evolution? So you see the deception? They quote, and by the way, even a translation, not only wrong, they added words. Let me show you. Like in the translation here, if we read the, if we read in here, we will see that they are talking 
and the higher stage of a man is reached from the world of monkeys where where we can find that <laughs> where we can find it it's amazing it's a lie this is the text in front of me you know we started from here one should then look at the word of creation started from etc 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 you know where we find the word monkey where we find all those words where from where they come with this word from it's a fabrication they have to insert the word monkey in there it's not exist you know i did read uh, you know like i did read again and again i read the page before i read the page after I, i'm reading the book uh, all, all the book again i read the book uh, like uh, you know a long time ago when i was a kid i read again many time and now today i read again because i want to see what they are talking about where he is saying that it's not exist there is no monkeys there is no word of monkeys there, there's no existence for that so those fabricator those false people they are fabricating an issue fabricating words fabricating text it's not exist because if you go just a few lines after this quotation you will see he is talking about the angels how the angels are higher in their creation from the human how you know what those people are talking about do Darwin believe in angels <laughs> so simply it's a joke it's a lie and it's based on deception and the funny the Muslims as usual they love any idea make it make it make Islam ad advantage or advanced in, in something so here we go right away the Muslims they come with the video saying oh Islam is the first to teach uh, 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 evolution <laughs> and that is based in a false translation so you know this is why I say if you want to learn something uh, uh, you need to have somebody especially like you know if I want to learn uh, about a book written in Greek the best one who teach me about what is written there is somebody honest is telling me what is written in the Greek language. It's the same as in Arabic. If you want to learn what exactly is written there, you read from somebody who really speak Arabic to you, giving you honest translation. A lot of those people, they are liars and they are willing to deceive anyone. And you know what? Uh, I can copy the whole text right now. And I want to see in Google if I can find the translation of uh, uh, um, you know uh, of monkey just to show you that monkey is not exist you know I will copy from before this I, I hope uh, this document allowed me to copy uh, it's not allowed in me because I'm recording I want to I want to copy uh, this uh, to this uh, all right here we go but that will be like three pages if we take it it's going to copy three pages if we take it all of it to Google and uh, copy it you will not find the word monkey there at all let me show you this is their their own translation you know now i'm going to copy my own i will switch to arabic and i will post my arabic text all right delete here now i will post my arabic text paste now i'm going to copy this text here we go as it is select all uh oh it's selecting all in here uh, let us copy it all of it to the end and we will take it post it in word document here we go even though it's coming funny it's okay and we will search for the word monkey. And we will make it match case. You see, search key not found. So we copied in the same location they are reading from almost more than three or four pages. I don't know how many. Huh? And nothing came as monkey. There is no monkey whatsoever. I think the only monkey is the one who made this book. You know, so it's absolutely a lie. It's not exist. It's fabrication. Uh, and the story keep going. You know, like Arazi is one of the scholars of the Quran. He have inter interpretation of the Quran, 
and he is a believer in Islam. So since when Arwazi he became a person who believed in revolution? What those people are talking about? So the whole book is fabrication. It's a joke. And this is why I advise people not to buy books just to read. You know, be careful. There's a lot of people, they, they try to put uh, deception in your mind. And especially if you are not, uh, you know, uh, a person who do not know much about uh, uh, about the Arabic text, they can deceive you. And the funny, the ones is posting this, by the way, is Muslim. This is a Muslim website. You believe it? This is a Muslim website. Like how the stupid Muslims, and I'm, I'm saying the stupid, not to insult, by the way. How dare you to say such a thing that uh, that Islam and Muslims believe in evolution? Like you Muslims reject your Quran. You don't. You don't want to believe in the in the six day creation of your God. We don't want to believe that Allah He created Adam on Friday. We don't want to believe like even even the Quran teach that, and all the Muslims agree, and even including the Razi, the Armenian as an example here, a Razi. Here we go. This is a Razi in the front of us. If we go and look at a Razi, we, we we will see that a Razi, uh, you know, he have a very his his own uh, understanding of the Quran, and the he he you know there is no way he will agree with the evolution. Let me show you. You know, let us make the video a little bit long. No problem. Here we go. This is the official government of Jordan, and this is Arazi. All right. Here we go. Arazi is defending the creation in six days. He is saying somebody is asking uh, or explaining, let us say, uh, about God creating everything in six days. Is that a proof uh, of uh, of the Maker? He is saying, well, it doesn't matter if it was six days or one day, uh, because the Maker is the one who made it. Uh, so. He don't believe in evolution, and he believe in six days. He don't believe in in uh, anything of that. Uh, you know, we can read all the interpretation. And by the way, I'm reading interpretation of a chapter seven, verse number fifty-four. You know, <clears throat> like in here, Arazi even answering. Somebody is saying, "Okay, how how the Quran is saying uh, uh, that there is a day and there is a night, and uh, before he created the sun." So Arazi is defending the creation, saying, "Well, yes, this is true, but Allah can do whatever He want. You know, Allah he, at the end He can do whatever He want. We can copy and translate in Google right away. You know, <clears throat> so it's very silly. Uh, and actually, even He is uh, He is quoting from the Torah, uh, uh, and He is saying even in the Torah they are they are they are saying the same." Let us copy, take to Google Translation, paste. Here we go. This is the English translation. Let us try to make it maybe bigger. Anyway, so here we go. He is defending the creation of six days and he is saying, absolutely, this is true. And actually, His Majesty, by doing that, he is proving that, you know, those who worship idols, he is saying to them, stop worshiping idols and follow the one. Who created everything in six days? So they are caught. They 